Right. Well, we went into the election very clear to collect to, to protect pre, uh, police numbers. We, I'm asking him a straightforward question, which he has so far failed to answer. Because at Prime Minister's questions, he was asked by my honourable friend, the member for Westminster North, this very simple, straightforward question. Will there be fewer police officers at the end of this Parliament compared to now? That's what she asked him. He skirted round her question and didn't answer it. Will he answer it now? Yes. Of course they're going to be difficult decisions, but, but let me... Let me a, a, very, a very simple question was put to the Shadow Home Secretary before the last election. The question... Just wait for it, wait for it. Andrew Neil. Andrew Neil. Can you guarantee, if you form the next government, that police numbers won't fall? Alan Johnson, can you confirm that? Alan Johnson, no. Oh. But, but what he did, yeah, what he did go on to say, I think that's a selective quoting, what he did go on to say, yeah, what, what he did go on to say is that we would guarantee the funding which would ensure the police numbers and the numbers of police community support officers. We were absolutely clear about this. Now, his Lib Dem uh, partners said that they would have 3,000 more police on the beat. He said he would protect frontline services. Are either of those promises going to be kept? People who are concerned about crime want to know. Yes. There's nothing selective about the word no. That is what the Home Secretary, Shadow Home Secretary was asked when he was asked if he could guarantee there wouldn't be cuts in police numbers. Let's remember why we're here. We've got a £155 billion budget deficit. Yes. The Labour Party went into the last election promising 50% cuts in capital spending and 20% cuts in department spending. Yeah. We are clearing up the mess that they made. Yeah. When, I, when I sat at the G20 table last weekend and you look round the table and think, who's got the biggest budget deficit? Is it Brazil? No. Is it Spain? No. Is it Argentina? No. They left us in a situation where we get lectured by Argentina on the state of our budget deficit. Yeah. Um, well, um, if he'd have read, if he'd have read the OBR report, he'd have seen that their forecast for government borrowing was lower than the forecast that we made before the election. And probably, if he'd have read the OBR report, he wouldn't have found that the chair has, uh, has resigned straight away after being appointed. But isn't it clear that this this is the government's crime policy? He's threatening to take away police officers that people want on the beat. He's cutting down the right of local residents for CCTV. He's making it harder for the police to use DNA evidence. Those are his policies. Let me ask him a very straightforward question. Does he think those policies are more likely to make crime go down or go up? The point is that under the last government, violent crime and gun crime went through the roof. The Honourable Lady, the Honourable, they almost doubled. Yeah, no, the shadow, the shadow Foreign Secretary is shouting and waving his head. Gun crime and violent crime almost doubled under the last government. Yes, yes. I think, I think it's time. I think it's time for honourable members. I think it's time for... There's going to be a rush of new Labour memoirs coming up, and I think it's time for honourable members. Perhaps they should start with the report of the spin doctor who worked for the last Prime Minister. Who... Uh, oh, no, no, we won't bother with that, I say to the Prime Minister. I'm very clear what is in order and what isn't, and that's the end of the matter. Harriet Harman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Before the election, from the Conservatives, it was all about tougher policies and more police. Now all that seems to have sailed off with those prison ships he was promising to buy. Now, we were very clear. We said, when we first came into government, we would bring crime down, and we did. Yeah. Will, will he promise that under his government he will keep crime coming down? Will he make that promise? If he won't make that promise, it's only because he knows, as we all know, his policies will put crime up. Yeah. Mr Speaker, I was only trying to boost sales, I think, uh, but there we are. I can promise the Honourable Lady one thing. Let me promise the Honourable Lady one thing. I won't be wandering around my constituency in a stab-proof vest. Yeah. That's what it. That's what it came to under the.
the last government, gun crime went up, violent crime went up, reoffending of prisoners went up. £45,000 for the cost of every prison place. More than 10% of them shouldn't have been there because they're foreigners. Half of them are on drugs, and 40% of them commit a crime on the way out of prison. That is the record that we've inherited, and that's what we'll be clearing up. John Barron. Thank you.